Ivan, I guess we know the first question would be what evidence does Israel, uh, sorry, uh, Iran have that Israel would be behind this attack? Well, so far, Monita, no evidence uh, has been shown. Instead, there have been images broadcast on Iranian state media of this audacious daylight assassination in the streets of the Iranian capital, which uh, Iranian state media have described as, uh, as some kind of motorcycle assassin rolling up to the Peugeot that was carrying uh, Mr. M Mustafa uh, Ahmadi Roshan, placing some kind of bomb described as a magnetic bomb on the side of the vehicle and killing him and two other, uh, wounding at least two other passengers in the vehicle. State media showing uh, images not only of the aftermath of the explosion, but also what they say it, it, it are the images of the slain uh, professor and a man described as a, a deputy director of commercial affairs at Iran's Natanz nuclear facility as well. And it's very important to point out that this is not an isolated case. We're going to show you a list of just some of the other deadly attacks that have taken place in the streets of Tehran within the last two years. In uh, November of 2010, uh, there were two attacks, one of whom which killed a nuclear uh, scientist and another simultaneous attack in another part of Tehran that wounded another nu nuclear scientist. And nearly exactly a year ago today, on January 11, uh, 12, 2010, another nuclear scientist was killed. And uh, uh, of course, uh, this is already being blamed by some Iranian officials on Iran's arch rival, Israel. Bonita. Ivan, so what could we potentially read into the similarities uh, of these attacks and the string of attacks that have taken place on Iranian nuclear scientists? Well, some of the methods are, are, are very similar with uh, uh, bombs being placed next to these vehicles uh, in daylight traffic. Uh, another important point is to see this in uh, the broader perspective of what's effectively a Cold War that's been waged between the Iran and the U.S. and Israel and, and their Western allies over recent years, a Cold War that seems to have intensified in recent months uh, on a number of different levels, with Iran uh, uh, threatening to shut the vital Strait of Hormuz leading into the Persian Gulf if uh, a U.S. aircraft carrier tries to return there. It, it is a war uh, that is played out in intelligence uh, spheres with a, a U.S. stealth drone that was recently brought down over Iranian airspace in the last couple of months. And then an economic conflict as well with the U.S. leading an effort to try to tighten uh, the economic circle around Iran, cutting off bank transactions and uh, trying to impose uh, uh, an embargo on Iranian oil because of the dispute largely over Iran's controversial nuclear program. Western governments insisting that uh, Iran is trying to pursue uh, a, a system of developing nuclear weapons. Those are claims that Iran has consistently denied.